Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. In this video I would like to discuss and share with you why you don't want to own a vehicle which has interference engine. Or maybe we should be very specific and say you don't want to have an interference engine which is equipped with a timing belt. But what it means interference engine? Well interference engine is the one where the piston in the cylinder travels up and down when the engine is rotating and on top are the little valves keep closing and opening and the interference engine means when there is a failure in that engine the piston will actually hit the valves and cause a smaller or larger damage in the vehicle. If it was non-interference engine in the case of failure and these two will stop communicating there will be still enough space clearance that the piston will not hit even the valve which is fully extended towards to it. Almost three years ago when I rented this place and open this very little humble shop I said hey I'm certified Toyota technician I will work on Toyotas well a lot of friends own the Toyota and they said hey we have also Subaru please 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 work on it we trust you it's hard to find trustworthy person please work on Subarus too and I made a huge mistake. I said, okay, I will please you. I will buy a special tools and I will also put it on my sign. I will do Toyotas and Subarus. As you can imagine, I don't work on brand new vehicles and on the older ones. And this is EJ253 Subaru engine. It's a boxer. And you can see it's equipped with that soft timing belt these engines when they were like in 90s like 97 98 when that belt snapped failed or slipped nothing happened to the engine you see here the damage this is belt which was replaced as a preventative measure lasted less than 5000 miles less than uh, roughly 11 months only and snap it's from this engine i just put another one to time it i try to run it still in the vehicle but there is a damage it won't run and most likely all the valves are bent on this one now why am i showing it well toyota is selling that toyota 86 and that is equipped with the Subaru engine but that Subaru engine which is in the Toyota what they call it FA I believe FA20 it's a 2 liter this one is 2.5 liter it's a 2 liter it's a modernized engine and it doesn't have this timing belt it has a timing chain so basically you don't want an interference engines which are older it's a used vehicle and are still equipped with the timing belt because my friend this mess this problem this it's not something what happened once a hundred years no these timing belts keep failing unfortunately it's not a joke it's a weak part or weak design for all these engines this is not the first time when it happened it needs to be replaced periodically like at 60,000 miles it, it varies between the brands Honda has a different interval Toyota has different interval Subaru has different one but as you can see it can fail even if it was replaced it didn't matter the part is bad and that one part destroys the whole engine. I'm going to tear it apart right now. And guess what? I'm not happy. 
will be a lot of waste money, a lot of wasted time, and it's basically a nightmare. Will I learn my lesson? I will, and we will discuss it in the future, in the close future, in a different video. So, I want to discuss this with you. I want to give you a warning. Hey, when you buy a used older vehicles, make sure that it's not an interference engine. If it is interference engine, make sure that it doesn't have a timing belt. If it has a timing belt, make sure that the timing belt was replaced with a high quality product. And if it wasn't, you will have to pay for that repair. So that's all from me for today. And make sure you are subscribed because, you know, I keep filming a lot of good content for you pretty often. Thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend.